Civic Action, uh, which is a group of community leaders, uh, businesses, and experts, are announcing a focus on workplace mental health as one of the primary initiatives over the next four years. Well, what's important is the workplaces need to understand how much mental health impacts their business success. It's not only a cost issue with a $17 billion worth of cost for the GTA, but it's an issue in terms of productivity, innovation, creativity, and it's prevalent. There's no workplace that isn't impacted by mental health. So in these situations, you know, business is always looking for a call to action. The call to action here is obvious. If you look at the burden of mental health challenges, stress in the workplace, it is larger than almost any other medical condition. So there's money in this for businesses if they get on top of it and work with their employees to make a, a lower stress, more compassionate, more understanding workplace. That will bring in incremental dollars. So it's a very easy case to make. What we found is one in five working Canadians actually believes that whether or not somebody has a mental disorder is um, within their full control. And the flip side of that is that it's actually their own fault, which is a very much a misconception, but it impacts people's behavior, and that behavior is a stigmatizing behavior. The early 20th century was about cardiovascular. Uh, it was only four decades ago you couldn't talk about having cancer or being a cancer survivor. Uh, now there's a pride about it. The 21st century is about mental health and actually accepting that mental health is part of our everyday life and it's something that is highly addressable.